found one I just need to be ordered so um, so I want to change the camshaft that's basically inside my cylinder heads I want to um, I already have it you know to order like it's there in the shopping cart just ready for me to press order you know I ain't got the money yet for that I've been so busy with you know other things so Two brand new suspensions in the front, two brand new shocks um, in the back, you know, um, there's other mods I still need to finish, spray and paint my car because I see a little chips and I still, you know, there's still more layers that need to be done, you know, in my car. So, on my car, well, you know my car is not the paint job on it is not complete yet what y'all seen uh was basically like the um how can we say like the unfinished version like it's like before after and then after after is when it's complete you know when i finish through the paint job you know what I'm saying? So before is when y'all saw, you know, the car was cream or white. And then y'all saw half of it was, you know, blue, blue and white. You know, y'all seen the, you know, the process and stuff on how I was doing it. That was the before, right? Now the after is how it is now. Okay, so I need to um, clean my tires and my rims and I need to repaint my rims. Why not get, just get a, a upgraded, you know, performance ring, y'all might be saying. Uh, because there's a lot going on. Uh, there's a trip to Tennessee I gotta take in September. There's a trip to Texas and Florida that I have to take next year. You know, it's mandatory. So, yeah. That is... That is uh, what I've been up to, you know, lately. Okay, so right here we have no, it's not the Innovator Performance Chip. I tried the Innovator Performance Chip, and no good, no good. Basura, basura, it's no good. It was not good using the um. The innovative performance chip that that was a bust. You know what I'm saying? But what I have here is the real deal, and it's custom to my vehicle. What we have here is the 
Thornton Performance Chip. So this is the Thornton, I'm sorry, Thornton Chip Tuning. So this is Thornton Chip Tuning. And we are going to install it real quick today. And uh, I'm going to be showing you how, uh, hopefully, I get it right according to the book. I just had the book. Oh, here we go. So I have the manual right here. You know, the instructions right here. And for step one, oh, I thought it was upside down. For step one, I gotta be as quick as possible because the rain's gonna pull up. So it says for step run, step one, plug in performance chip, right? It says remove the key from the ignition. Okay, it's removed. Remove the key from the ignition. Find the OBD2 port and okay, typically under the dashboard, yeah, I know what that is. And plug in the chip into the OBD2 port. So this is specified for my vehicle, is it? Correct. Yeah, 07 Chrysler PT Cruiser, specifically made for my specific. And it's fire too, look, it's fire. Now I don't know everything about it, but I'm gonna take it out. <laughs> Alright, now this is the Thornton performance chip. So, we're going to, uh, it says, it says plug it in and then for step two, insert the key and turn the ignition switch on the on position, right? And then it says, do not start the car. Wait for about 10 seconds while your chip communicates and establish connection with the car. The light will flash once connection is established, right? That's step two. So let's do step one. Step one, plug it in. So I'm using my stabilizer. I'm not holding my phone at all. I'm using my stabilizer. I'm here in Mexico. So let's put this in. Oh. My OBD2 port. OBD is right here. Y'all can see it. OBD2 is right here. Where my fingers at. So we're gonna plug it in. So after it's plugged in, we had a next step. Step one was putting it in your OBD2 port. Okay, you got that straight. Step two was insert the key and turn the key ignition to on, right? 
Do not start the car. Wait for 10 seconds while your trip establish and establish a connection with the car. The light will flash once connection is a step. All right, so now we finna turn the car to the on position. Now it's on the on position. Okay, I see the lights. You see the lights, right? Yeah, I see the lights. Okay, so 10 seconds passed and I was looking at the light and it was flashing and now it's stable um, there is a bright light that's on the ECU part and then the power light is on hey, let me show you so as y'all can see that light is on Okay, now it's starting to flash. So the ECU part is on. You see the light. So in 10 seconds fast, so it should be connected. And then the power light is on. So... So that was step number two. Step number two, it says, do not start the car, wait for about 10 seconds while your, while your chip communicates and establish a connection with the car. The light will flash once connection is established. So it's been 10 seconds and hopefully a connection's been established. Been over 10 seconds. And at first the lights was flashing, all of them, you know, it's flashing like this, and now it's stable. All right. So step three is start your car and drive as normal. It says allow 50 to 100 miles for a total drive time to complete the change before fully testing the benefits of Thornton Foreman's trip. Yeah, it is hot out here. So, it says starts the car. Okay. Car started. Check it one last time. Okay, the ECU light is on, on the chip, and the power light is on. That OBD is flashing now. And then stop. Well, oh, that is how you install. Assuming I did it correctly, I followed all the steps. So, you know, I had to do it correctly. So I followed all the steps. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna run through step one, two, and three because, you know, I could just go back in the video, rewind the video, put it back, you know, for step one, two, and three. But yeah. And it came with a Thornton chip tuning sticker that you can put on your car, anywhere on your car. It really doesn't matter. So 
I guess I'll slap this on. The thing is, do I want it on the driver's side or do I want it on the passenger side? Uh, I don't know. I should put it right there. I'm gonna put it, apologize, got to stabilize. I'm gonna put it right here in the middle. Should I put it right here in the middle? I'm not sure. Like on the other side, obviously, but should I put it right there or should I put it to the side? Yeah, I'm gonna put it to the side. All right. There you have it. My baby has officially been tuned. It says, it says about 50 to 150 miles uh, before it fully activates. And so this is what I meant when I said this is the before as far as painting my car. I still have to do the, I mean, this is the after. You see there's little chips here, little chips here, little chips here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Little chips here. More chips here that I gotta redo. So this is the after. And then when I finish put uh, another uh, 12 cans of Plasti Dip, then that should complete it and make it the after after, you know, the official, you know, and the Plasti Dip should be completed, you know what I'm saying? Like fully be completed. I got 100% completed, all right? So, thanks again, y'all, tuning in. I do apologize, it's been a hot minute. Of course, there's gonna be an update on um, how I was performing, you know, after the 50 miles or 150 miles, or if I see any changes in the performance, um, you know, before the um, 50 mile mark, or 150 mile mark. You'll definitely get an update on that. So, thank you guys for tuning in. And it'll be much, much, much appreciated if y'all could hit that like button. What I have three. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Share with your friends. You know, if you know anybody who's interested or is thinking about, you know, getting this um, Thornton performance chip or anybody who's looking to tune their car, you know, without, you know, a more simple way of tuning their car. You know, this is it. Like I said, Thornton performance chip, they, Thornton, I'm sorry, Thornton chip tuning. You go on the website, you put your year, make, and model, and all the information they ask for about your vehicle, and then they make the chip specifically for your vehicle. All right? All right. Until next time.